Uh, in this video I will show you how to uh, make uh, multiple plots of uh, a data from uh, the NetCD file. Uh, for this uh, we need uh, all these packages. So once we import these packages, uh, uh, here we read this, uh, in this first line we will read a shape file which is uh, the river basin in Afghanistan and uh, in the second line uh, we are reading the uh, rainfall data, the daily rainfall data for over the Afghanistan uh, which is daily data and uh, here I'm uh, subsetting this uh, PR variable then uh, renaming it to hist and selecting the time which is uh, uh, from 1971 to 1975 uh, five years of data then uh, I need to convert the unit of this data with two millimeters per day uh, and then uh, we make uh, this daily data to annual by grouping it to over each year and uh, making total. As you can see now the data has changed and here is the 5 years of data and this is much of latitude and longitude. And these are the coordinates. And so uh, as you can see here, um, these plots uh, we can see here are the rainfall data. Uh, over this particular uh, geographic uh, location for this particular years uh, we can see from 1971 to 1975 and this is the color so to make this uh, we can see uh, first we need to uh, build this title so we extract this title from this our uh, data set by just making an empire array from this uh, data and converting it to a list then uh, we uh, create this uh, subplot uh, by two columns and three rows and after that uh, we need to uh, make this uh, parallel loop and through which we iterate uh, this uh, first uh, uh, iteration we will do to uh, uh, get the day rainfall data uh, so it is like uh, indexing through from the first uh, the first iteration will index the first data set which is this 1971 then the second data set and so on and then uh, the second iteration will iterate through the title of each uh, the title we created here and it will iterate through each of this uh, title which are all the years and then uh, the axis which we created this axis uh, we will iterate through this uh, axis and we convert this axis to rival so it will become uh, a 1d array that we can iterate so now uh, we build our title and you can see the location is left and from the right build second we need to make this counter if uh, uh, or you can use p color mesh as you wish then the x-axis is the longitude and the y-axis is the latitude and the data is the rainfall as you can see uh, you can change this color map as you wish and then the levels we give this level uh, variable here it, it, this is a numpy array and here uh, we took the minimum and maximum of our data set uh, which is uh, the minimum rainfall from 1971 to 1975 over the location and the maximum and we give an uh, interval for this uh, color bar which is 200 as you can see if we go down now this is the color bar uh, from the minimum rainfall to maximum rainfall and the interval also here then this uh, color bar uh, is for all subplots we can see like uh, nicely how the, the rainfall has even evolved over each year uh, then uh, we can adjust all these uh, other things if we want like uh, uh, we just uh, turn off the labels on top and right this uh, axis label and then uh, we can add the ba the basin shape file which we have uh, imported earlier and this is the basin shape file as you can see uh, on the background and uh, finally we apply we make add this color bar to the location of our last uh, subplot this is the last subplot uh, we 
just deleted this uh, last subplot and added instead this color bar here as you can see here I deleted this last axis and added the color bar here uh, I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you if it was helpful thank you